Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and Microsoft today has sent out another warning that you have 60 days left for Windows 11 22H2. So um, start thinking about it. 60 days it is going to be the end of support for Windows 11 22H2. So if you don't have it yet, do go and check out your Windows updates. Make sure that it's not there just hiding, waiting for you to install it. Uh, what you could do is go to Windows Update, check for updates, see if it's being offered or would appear. If you don't still don't see it through Windows Update, uh, then um, in the next 60 days, you will have to force it to make sure that you stay safe and get your security updates afterwards. So you could go to the Microsoft page for downloading it or you can update your system from the Microsoft uh, page of Windows 11. I'll share that page in the description below where you can go and download the latest image of Windows 11 and get 23H2 in this case. Uh, 60 days um, doesn't mean, somebody did ask, but doesn't mean that 24H2 is going to be available yet. We know that it should be out sometime this fall but it could be later than 60 days before it is officially released. So waiting for that um, is not necessarily a good idea. And on many systems anyways, you might need to go to 23H2 before it moves on to 24H2. So um, I'll share the link to the page where you can go and up upgrade your system from there. Uh, normally, everybody, uh, Microsoft does say that pretty much everybody should see 23H2 being offered to them. So um, that is something you should have available. So check it out. I'll share the page. Like I said, you can go and force update there if you want. Um, I don't think that there should be much problem in f going to 23H2 now. And um, we'll see. But then again, you still have 60 days, so you can ultimately wait until uh, October the 8th uh, for that. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.